Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India.
turn this equal to 0. This is the pitching motion equation. in elliptic orbit and remember that we have not done any approximation here. So, no approximation no approximation assumed here. So, we will explore this particular part right in a particular way and then develop this equation. So, let us start with as I told you that go and refer back to uh, refer to our lecture on space flight mechanics. So, this equation I am writing here it is called the conic section equation conic this is called the semi lattice rectum and r is obviously the radius of the satellite orbit and this theta I will change it to phi instead of using theta I notation I will be using here phi. So, this is called the true anomaly and this E that is the eccentricity eccentricity of the orbit. So, we are dealing with the elliptical orbit elliptical orbit how does it look like something like this ok. Here this is the focus this is the focus. So, your earth is situated here and because already we have discussed that this will be considered as a point mass. So, the whole uh, if it is considered as a basically what we are we have assumed that if earth is assumed to be circular and of uniform density then we can assume the earth mass to be concentrated at a point at the focus here in this case and then your satellite is moving in this orbit. So, this part is your from this distance to this distance this is your focus. So, this part is L the what we have written here ok and then if I draw a vector like this maybe little bigger figure I will draw here. So, this is the focus as discussed earlier and this is called the periapsis or perigee location. So, distance from here to here ok this is the shortest distance and then we have the radius vector. So, the satellite is located here in this place this angle we show this as phi. So, this we have written as the true anomaly okay. and of course, your L uh, this is the distance vertical to this. So, either up or down this distance is your L from this place to this place this is L. Then the length from this place to this place is called the semi major axis. Okay. 
similarly the distance from this point this distance from here to here is indicated by b and this is called semi minor axis this point is your fo axis or the opposite location okay so this description is given in uh, the space flight mechanics lecture so here this is the conic section equation so from there we can get the what will be the rate at which this phi changes so this is a simple differentiation and moreover because the angular momentum is conserved in such kind of orbit so this equation is also applicable angular under central force motion so this is always valid now we are ready to uh, take it to the next stage so phi dot from here we get as r square and phi double dot so the rate at which this angle is changing it is directly available to you okay as r changes along this direction you can see th this is the smallest r possible from this place to this place this is the smallest possible r as we move along the orbit so we go from this place to this place so r keeps varying okay from here to here this r will keep varying so phi double dot from this place this is minus h by r q times r dot now r dot we have to insert here in this place to get the complete solution r equal to l by 1 plus e cos phi differentiate this so if we differentiate this we get here r dot equal to 1 by 1 plus e cos phi whole square okay which a minus sign here and then differentiating this quantity so this will be e sin phi times phi dot and plus 1 minus sign here so minus sign here so e sin phi for this we have written here e and then differentiation of cos phi is the sin phi and there after the phi dot and uh, cos phi differentiation then minus sign also appears simultaneously okay. so therefore r dot which is appearing here in this place so this becomes l e sin phi times phi dot divided by 1 plus e cos phi whole square then again utilize this particular equation so we can write this as okay utilize this so we can write this as l by 1 plus e cos phi whole square okay and then rest of the things on this side e sin phi times phi dot divided by l e sin phi times phi dot we have taken here l because the l square term is getting introduced here so therefore we have divided here by l so this can be written as r square e sin phi times phi dot divided by l so in this equation then minus h by r cube and r dot is r square e sin phi times phi dot divided by l okay so minus h by r l times e sin phi so this is your phi double dot 
and this is phi dot here. Some more uh, simplification we can do to this equation. So, I will have to go to the next page. So, we have phi double dot minus h e sin phi divided by r times l and then phi dot. Now, <coughs> each square this quantity is related to L by this relationship and this is uh, derived in the uh, space flight mechanics lecture. So, we will utilize this relationship directly here and eliminate this L. Okay. So, this becomes H e sin phi divided by r and L is equal to h square mu goes upside. So, this is h square divided by mu. Uh, so, mu will be upside and then we of course, we have phi dot here in this place minus mu times c sin phi divided by r h phi dot. And here we have missed out a term. See, if, uh, while h by r square we are writing here, so there are two factor will appear here in this place. So this two we have missed out everywhere. Okay. So we have to write here this two factor. दो मिनट का ब्रेक लेता हूँ। जी सर। ठीक है। नहीं तो इसको सोच रहा हूँ इसको यहाँ पर ये टू छूट गया था तो ये सेरर को मैं करेक्ट कर लूँ। ओके सर। फिर से इसको रिपीट कर देता हूँ इस पेज को जहाँ से है वहाँ से फिर कट करके फिर लगा देंगे। Okay, so what we have been discussing uh, about the quantity r, so this is the focus and uh, this is the shortest distance which we write as r p and uh, we can call as the, this is related to the perigee position, perigee position and this part here from the distance from this place to this place this is your focus f so this is r a and this is your apogee location
and the length from this place to this place this is the vertical distance from here to here this is your l which we have written as semi lattice rectum okay so in this figure we are measuring phi angle which is the true anomaly phi is your true anomaly this is r okay. and for this conic section equation is given by r equal to l by 1 plus e cos phi and this particle just like uh, we can take the case of the sun earth system so in that the angular momentum is also conserved and it's written as r square phi dot this equal to h so what we are interested in we'll uh, write the equation of what we have written here so that we do not have to refer back again and again so theta double dot minus phi double dot and then plus 3 mu by r cube i1 minus i3 divided by i2 times sin theta times cos theta this is the equation we have got for the pitching moment pitching motion pitching motion equation okay. so this part we have to resolve and write in a particular way so that it's a convenient for uh, analytical analysis okay. so we use this relationship l by or say the r equal to 1 by e plus we are interested in finding out this quantity this quantity is already with respect to the orbital frame your changes are taking place this theta double dot okay phi dot double dot we are interested in finding okay so phi dot this is the quantity h by r square so phi double dot this quantity we can write as minus 2h by r cube times r dot okay. and this can be further written as r is changing with respect to phi so we write it rather in this way we could have equally gone another way first finding out r dot and then working out right now if we differentiate because you can see that this r is varying with respect to this phi as this phi is changing r will also change and therefore r is a function of phi and phi is a function of t so we are utilizing this information to work out here okay. so therefore phi double dot this becomes minus 2h by r cube and r phi we can get from this place so dr by d phi we can write as l by 1 plus e cos phi whole square and then on the upside minus e sin phi so this becomes l e sin phi divided by 1 plus e cos phi whole square and we can also summarize this as by multiplying this by in the numerator and denominator by l and l say we multiply it by l and l in the numerator and denominator so this becomes so l square term this term and this term becomes l square so l square by this square term that we can write as r square okay. and rest other things e sin phi divided by this l so this is the quantity which enters here in this place this is 2h by r cube and then 
r square e sin phi divided by l and this quantity is phi dot the d phi by d t ok this quantity is nothing but phi dot. So, we will pick up it from this place. So, that becomes h by r square. And therefore, phi double dot we can write this as minus 2 h by r cube and uh, r square r square it will cancel out. We are left by 2 h e sin phi and here we will write as h square. This h and this h makes it h square. So, 2 h square e sin phi r square this r square and this r square they will cancel out. Okay. So, we are left with r cube and divided by l and the relationship between h and l is. So, h square divided by l this is nothing but mu okay, which is the gravitational constant of the earth mu we have written as g times m earth. Okay, or it may be any planet. So, this is minus 2 mu e sin phi divided by r cube, this is phi double dot. Okay, so now, we can proceed and uh, work out this particular part. So, everything we need to express in terms of phi. So, theta dot again this part we can write is nothing but d theta by d t. So, we can write this as d theta by d phi times d phi by d t and this quantity we are going to write as theta prime means it is a derivative of theta with respect to phi. So, this is the quantity we are writing here and this part becomes phi dot obviously, this quantity is known to us. So, this is theta prime times h by r square. Okay. Similarly, theta double dot is the quantity which we require. So, theta double dot it is a present here. Okay, and this quantity we require. So, theta double dot we need to differentiate this again. Okay. So, this will be d by d t d theta by d t theta by m size. So, if once we differentiate it d by d t plus theta prime phi double dot. So, phi double dot this quantity already we have worked out okay. theta prime this is just the derivative of theta with respect to phi, uh, phi which is written here. So, this quantity we need to work out. So, theta prime d by d t we need to work out. D theta by Okay, so, we have to write it in the same way d by d phi this theta is there. So, first we differentiate it with respect to d phi and then we write it like this d phi by d t.
d square theta by this will become d phi square times phi dot. So, if we insert here in this equation, so this will become d by d t d prime d square theta divided by d phi square and then phi dot square plus theta prime plus phi double prime. Okay, and this quantity then we are going to write as theta double prime phi double dot. So, now look into this all these quantities are known to us. So, theta double prime and phi dot equal to h by r square. So, this becomes whole square and theta prime and phi double dot phi double dot we have just now derived this is minus 2 mu e sin phi minus 2 mu e sin phi divided by r cube. So, we have got the quantity here uh, h square h square by r to the power 4 theta double prime minus 2 mu e sin phi divided by r cube times theta prime. So, this is our theta double dot. So, by doing so, uh, we can express how your uh, motion will look like as phi keeps varying. Okay. Instead of t, we are expressing the whole thing in terms of phi. Now, if, uh, we write the equation therefore, theta double dot equal to minus theta prime 2 mu by the previous equation we have written e sin phi plus mu by r cube and go back and this is the whole thing we are writing. So, this particular part we have to work out h square by r to the power 4. So, h square by r to the power 4 this is mu times l. Okay. This particular part this h square by r to the power 4 equal to mu times l and divided by r to the power 4. So, here let us go one more step by r to the power 4 and then theta double prime. We can eliminate one term here theta prime 2 mu by r cube l by r is this equal to 1 plus e cos phi. So, use this relation so, this becomes 1 plus e cos phi and r q term is present here. So, theta double prime. So, theta double dot is expressed like this and then you can complete the whole equation and it will so happen that because the r cube is present here okay, and other terms also they contain r cube. So, the this can be eliminated. Okay. Now, we pick up this equation theta double dot minus phi double dot okay. and everything we have already worked out. So, theta double dot minus phi double dot 
plus 3 mu by r cube plus 3 mu by r cube i 1 minus i 3 divided by i 2 i 1 minus i 3 divided by i 2 sin theta times cos theta sin theta times cos theta this equal to 0. So, insert all these quantities here. So, this is your minus theta prime 2 mu by r cube e sin phi plus e cos phi divided by r cube times theta double prime minus phi double dot. So, this quantity phi double dot we have worked out here in this place. This is minus 2 mu e sin phi by r cube 2 mu e 2 mu e sin phi divided by r cube. So, this is your phi double dot term okay. and thereafter the other terms we need to put here 3 mu by r cube and let us write this term as usual i 1 minus i 3 by i 2 this we have written as k i. So, we will write this as k i okay. and then rest of the terms sin theta times cos theta. So, this equal to 0. So, you can see that in the denominator everywhere this r cube term is appearing and because r is non 0. So, there is no problem we can take it on the right hand side eliminate it from uh, this part. Now, this gets reduced to 2 mu e sin phi times theta prime plus mu times 1 plus e cos phi times theta double prime minus 2 mu e sin phi plus 3 mu k i sin theta times cos theta this equal to 0. So, we can see that this is the second derivative term. So, we can write here in the beginning 1 plus e cos phi times theta double dot and then anywhere the phi prime term we have to include So, this is your phi prime term and uh, 2 mu e sin phi this particular term okay, this one. So, we utilize it here and here you see 2 mu e sin phi term is appearing. So, we can write this as this minus 2 mu e sin phi times 1 plus theta prime okay. and rest other terms 3 mu k i sin theta times cos theta equal to 0. So, this is the equation of motion in elliptical orbit for pitching only equation of motion in elliptic orbit for pitch only. And this equation can be uh, expanded, it can be worked out. So, we will continue in the next lecture. Thank you for listening.
So, already we have observed that uh, theta double dot is the quantity which is shown here. So, theta double dot this is the quantity okay, minus theta prime 2 mu by r q minus theta prime 2 mu by r q and e sin phi plus mu times 1 plus e cos phi divided by r q and times theta double prime. Okay, so, in our equation of motion theta double dot minus phi double dot plus 3 mu by r q i 1 minus i 3 sin theta times cos theta equal to 0. This is the pitching motion equation. And we need to insert the quantities respective quantities here. So, theta double dot we can insert from this place 2 mu by r cube e sin phi plus e cos phi divided by r cube and then minus theta phi double prime. So, phi double prime we have derived earlier this is minus 2 mu e sin phi by r q 2 mu e sin phi divided by r q with a minus sign. So, this is the quantity phi double dot and then 3 mu by r q i 1 minus i 3 this is there is the divided by i 2 also. So, i 1 minus i 3 divided by i 2 uh, i 3 divided by i 2 we have written this quantity as k i. So, I will replace this in terms of k i here itself. This is k i and then sin theta times cos theta. So, if we rearrange this quantity r cube r cube from the denominator it will get, get eliminated and we have mu times c cos phi times theta double prime. And moreover if we see that this mu is also present everywhere. So, this mu also we can eliminate may be at this stage itself. So, your mu is present here mu is present here it is also present here it is also present here and this is a non zero quantity. So, therefore, we eliminate here and write it like this. Then this is plus the quantity which is present here this quantity and this quantity we can combine it together to write 2 mu e sin phi mu again we do not have to write here. plus 2 times e sin phi okay. and from this place minus 2 times e sin phi times theta prime and plus 3 mu by r cube uh, again this quantity goes here only 3 will remain. Okay, so, mu is eliminated r cube is eliminated so, we get 3 k i sin theta times cos theta this equal to 0 mm -hmm. e cos phi times theta double prime plus 2 e sin phi it can be taken outside the bracket this is 1 minus theta prime plus uh, as we can observe this is the this is a complicated equation. Okay. 
Now, under simplified condition, this can be solved. Okay. So, if we assume then this gets simplified to we can see from this place this term will get eliminated and we get here theta double prime ok. This term we can get rid of and we can write this as 3 k i sin theta times cos theta this equal to 0. So, uh, this equation is written here only for the E value which shall so, continue with this lecture uh, in the uh, we will continue with this topic in the next lecture and uh, we stop in the meanwhile thank you very much.